Tim, but you are such a legend. You're the soundtrack of our lives. Thank you. If you think about what was most iconic or surprising or important, you know, project that you worked on and who you worked with, who would that be? All of them. Everybody's special. Everyone, everyone's special. All of them. And Versus, what's up? Are we going to see Versus Ooh. coming back? <laughs> Keep your eyes open. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you are a legend to us. Yes, you are. I mean, you don't even look like the age that you must be because we have grown up on Elder Barge. I got Elder Barge in the building, y'all. So um, how does it feel to be involved with this tonight? It feels like it feels great. She got her first hit with the bar, the rhythm of the night. So I'm singing that on the video. You gonna sing rhythm of the night? Oh my God, I love that. What to you is your most iconic song that you've done for us? Mm, I would say all this love. I like it. Love me in a special way. Yes. Stay with me, rhythm of the night. Reveal. Yep, that part. Now you keep our you have kept R and B alive. You are like a hero for R and B. Do you think we miss that romance? Like when you think about today's music, the romance that you use I mean you're responsible for making babies all around the world, right? <laughs> so what do you think in terms of the evolution of R and B? I think R and B is gonna keep on escalating, it's gonna keep on progressing. I mean it's really it's really about the soul. R&B has no color. It's just about the soul. Yes, it is. And I, I also want to just commend you on your courage. You have shared a lot about your family yeah. in a number of media, which I think has strengthened and helped a lot of people. What has inspired you to be so open and vulnerable with that? Well, my mother, uh, rest in peace, mom. She always raised me to be open, especially to love and to be myself. Yeah. Yeah. She's my biggest inspiration. We love you. Thank you so much for stopping to chat with us. <laughs> Bless you. Okay. So now, as you have sold over 600 million records, what is? I mean, when you think about that, that is incredible. When you think about your legacy, what are your thoughts? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I mean, come on. That's All I ever wanted to do, and this is the truth, was write one hit record. Wow. And you, wrote, no and you wrote 600 million. Thanks. Well, they weren't individual. I know, right? Here, what's your first Yeah, I mean, you know, man, I started here. I went out to two nights, four weeks in a row. Right here at the Apollo, so this is my home. So every time I come back, I feel at home. It's, it's an amazing feeling. Tonight I'm honoring baby faces, an idol of mine, somebody I've been looking up to for a very, very, very long time. So it's an honor for me to present the award to them tonight. I'm going to a little bit, but I'm going to look to see how their faces look. Like, they're not saying, Kim, get off the stage. But thank you so much. What does it mean to you to host this event? You know what? You're going to scare me some more. Stop asking me these scary questions. I want to say it's, 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 it's fun. I'm not afraid. Of course, it means a lot. Don't make me more nervous. <laughs> Babyface, when can I see you again? The when can I see you? That one. And then Usher. Honestly, I'd probably do one of the ones off of his um his newest album, which is what's the song? No, my husband sent it to me. Why can't I think of it? Babe, what's the song we like from Usher's album? The one you sent to me. What's it called? One of them ones. Yeah, yeah, that one. That's, That's what's up. That <laughs> and then real quick, you, while you're doing the pictures, because I know they're cool. Of course, no Your problem. new music, real yes. quick, coming up. Yes. Tell us about it. Oh, okay. Well, oh, is that for that one? Good morning, America. For both of us. Oh, good morning, oh, America. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good morning, America, Radio 1. Okay, got it. Sorry. Hi, guys. Hi, Good Morning, America and Radio 1. My new music, I'm really, really excited for people to finally hear it. I'm actually mixing and mastering the final songs this week and this month. Um, but I feel like people are going to be able to hear my growth, one, my joy, second, and they're also going to hear 
the musicality that is different than the stuff that you're normally used to hearing. So there's still a little bit of pop, there's still a little bit of R&B, but there's a lot more live instrumentation. There's kind of a little bit of a nostalgic feel, but um, that's more the live elements. And then there's also a little bit of country, there's a little bit of uh, soul, there's a, a little bit of everything that I grew up loving, um, which kind of makes me who I am. So I want people to hear that. It's called No Restrictions. So I included that in my album within the music. There's no restrictions to what kind of topic that I wanted to talk about, what kind of sound it was. Um, but I think my fans are really going to enjoy it. It's been a long time coming, so I can't wait. We for can't to be here. wait. Will you, rub the, will you rub the good luck stump before you hit the stage the what, tonight? The what? The what? <laughs> remember the first time you stepped foot on the Apollo and what that was like for you? Oh my goodness, it was, it might have been during the, uh, what was the show that I used to have? And I remember stepping on stage the first time, or just the fact of knowing I was coming to the Apollo. And even as a professional, you still have these nerves that are just like, okay, I hope the Sandman ain't coming out to get me. <laughs> You know, it's just, it's, this place is special. So many artists have played here, and when you come to and know you're gonna play here, it's just this aura that's here in this place that you know this is a special time, no matter how many times I play here. So now when you think about R&B, you know, which is responsible for making so many babies and romance, what do you think about the state of R&B now? And you are keeping it burning, we love that. Oh, thank thank you. you. The state of R&B, I think that everything has its place. I think that where we are today, where R&B has evolved and we watch music go, go, and go around, come in circles, you know, but ultimately R&B is here to stay. And it doesn't matter in what form, it's still R&B. And it all starts from that rhythm and blues. And it can't be erased. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and it's a little bit of a surprise. Like, it really give too much away, but it'll get people on their feet. And what's, no what's even more special, I mean, I, without a doubt, it's going to be a magical night. Uh, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. That I was invited to be a part of it. So it's going to be great. What's your favorite memory of the Apollo? Oh, my God. My favorite memory of the Apollo? Just some of the footage I've seen of James Brown. Might have to be. I mean, when I think, when you say Apollo, that's the first, part, the first name that comes to, to mind for me. Our first artist as well is James Brown. But so many things have been here and been through it. But it's just a historic place to play, and I'm so happy. Every time I come here, this is the one place you come and you go, okay, you better get to be on your A game. Simple to just pick Kane, so do you understand why we fangirl out when we see you? The legacy, your uh, your iconic, the contribution you've made to hip hop, you know, and the legacy of hip hop. What are your thoughts about that? I know you're humble, but what are your thoughts about that? Um, I mean, I think it's beautiful that you know hip hop is still you know receiving the props that it deserves, you know, and still doing its thing. I think that's just amazing. And um, what do you what do you hope to see for hip hop as it evolves in the next fifty years? Um, I mean, I hope to see more of this, but I, I also hope to see um, uh, the lyrical side being showcased a lot more. That's right. Now, who are you wearing? You look amazing. Thank you so much. Who are you wearing? Who am I wearing? Yeah. Oh no, this is um. Um, personal designer. Beautiful. No, but that's beautiful. You look dope. A black designer? Oh, absolutely. That's what's absolutely. up. That's yeah. what's up. We need to support that. Looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to Oh, I'm looking forward to No, I'm looking forward to Usher oh, and Baby Face. I just want to see them, you know, see all their accolades because these are two amazing artists. What do you say about your legacy? A lot of people have seen it. So, what do you say about your legacy? Tell me a little bit about what you're like. Um, I mean, hopefully, you know, um, I touch somebody's life, you know. I mean, you know, um, I always try to tell people that, you know, um, you know, worrying about winning a Grammy or worrying about winning an Oscar and stuff, you know, that stuff is cool. But when someone comes up to you and says that your music got them through high school, got them through college, got them through Desert Storm, I think that's what they you know. Jasmine Summers with Radio One, you are an icon to us. And when you so think they of, say. so they say, when you think of your legacy, what comes to mind? Uh, influence. I mean, main, the main thing, influence. The influence that the first generation has on uh, on on the uh, youth of our generation transcended to what hip hop is today. 
And when you compare the old school hip hop, which was very lyrical and often had, you know, messages in it, to the new school hip hop, since we've gotten more corporate control, what are your thoughts about that? I don't compare the old school hip hop to the new school hip hop. It's like comparing the NBA back in the day to how it is now. It's facts, a new game. It's facts. New rules. There's new owners. There's you know new corporate interest that have to do with it. That pretty much changes the game a lot. So you can't compare one thing to another. It's just moved in another direction. Okay, la uh, last question. Well, two last questions. Who are you wearing? You looking good. Let's get a picture. Ah, I love it. You are your side. own. You are your <laughs> own designer, and you are killing it yes, right now. Thank yes, you, you are. Thank you very well, much. we love you because you are such an icon in hip hop. Your fondest memory of the Apollo. I know there are many. Uh, Maybe the first time you were here. Uh, you know what, James Brown. James Brown at the Apollo. Uh, I can't think of. A, I can't think of a more important time for, for me to be in this building than when the Godfather of Soul was in the Apollo. I would have to say that. Yes, yes, yes. Say it loud. I'm black and proud too. You already know. <laughs> Hello, Cool J's Rock the Bells Radio. Uh, me and Shah Rock. And uh, so Will and Mark Lawrence will come into the station to do a promo for the Bad Boy, uh, the fourth Bad Boy installment. And so they thought it'd be a good idea if I came down and surprised them. And uh, Sway really kind of led into that because he knew I was there. So he set it up for Will to start talking about hip hop because he knew when he started talking about hip hop, it was going to eventually lead to me. And then I walked in and surprised him. It was a great moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and it's a little bit of a surprise. Like, it really give too much away, but it'll get people on their feet. Uh, yeah, no problem.